Right, moving on. Today's guest co-host is a fifth generation farmer who combines traditional and modern technology to grow organic food sustainably right here in the UAE. Please welcome to DXB today, the CEO and founder of my farm, Mohamed Aysawi. How are you, sir? Fine, thank you for welcoming today. Oh, well, thank you so much for coming in. Um, that's a big title we've given you there. Um, <laughs> thank you for tell that. us a little bit more about my farm and why it's so important to you so, and the family. I, I, first, I would like to say I grew up in a small farm in the south of France. Okay. My family is from Morocco, but I grew up in a small farm and I became engineer. So today when I created my farm, the idea was to use both the traditional methods that my grandfather and ancestors were using with the new technologies which are safe for us and the environment. Wow. I'm very interested to know um, five generations of farmers growing things. What made you think the UAE is the right place to be because it is a more drier climate. Is it? Is it? Are there some challenges involved with planting? I I, I, I love I love the challenges actually, and I think if it's working well here in the Dubai desert climate, it can work and wor grow everywhere. So, what kind of things do you actually grow on your farm? Like, what type of vegetables? Wow! During the first pilot, we opened the farm in Khawanij. It was like for three years. We were welcoming people from everywhere around the world. Wow. And each guest, sometimes they were bringing seeds from Japan to America. Wow. So we got the seed bank now up to 2,000 varieties from the world. So we, we, do, we just play with the seeds. If it's working well, we scale it and suggest propose to the chefs. For example, the chefs in Burj Al Arab, Atlantis, one and only, and etc. Name drop, <laughs> Sorry. No, we love it. We absolutely love it. I want to know as well, because that, that's quite incredible and you are doing big things, but I know that you're also spending a lot of time educating the, the, the youth, the next generation about farming, right? Exactly. My work means nothing if we are not educating people. If we can grow the best veggies and people are not willing to understand what's happening on, on the ground, uh, does it doesn't make sense. So what we try to do, we try to connect the community. Uh, we try to support people to grow their own food and veggies also. So we started this year my garden project uh, with uh, now almost 500 gardens in Dubai. So can you believe it? So people are growing fruit and veggies in their own garden. So it's connecting the community and people understand more about our challenges as well. I just moved house and I've got a garden. Well, you, you can we start planting. <gasps> yeah, of course. Why can not? I grow like basil and stuff? And Anything. Tomatoes? We have more than 250 varieties in the bank ready to start to grow now. It is actually crazy, Mohammed, the fact that, you know, you can plant food and it's free food and it's such a weird thing for people to do. Uh, what do you think the barrier is when it comes between people and growing their old food? Do they think they don't have the know-how, they don't have the skill, or have we just mentally associated them with supermarkets? Exactly. The knowledge is the most, uh, is the most important uh, key. Uh, that's why we also support people through the workshops. Uh, we, the, the second thing is to have the, the right uh, and the good materials as well. It's not enough to have a good seeds if you don't have a proper soil, if you don't have a proper irrigation system, and plus, plus, plus. So the idea is to come with the package and know that with those, it's going to work. Now, I've got you down here as being a specialist of organic garden and permaculture consultant. And in real money, what does that mean? <laughs> what does that involve? Uh, actually, um, as I said, that a part of my work is to uh, run a company to make it successful mm. with the chefs, the hotels, the restaurant. What makes me more uh, happy is to work with the community. So I try to share my time uh, bet between those two to, in a way, feel alive <laughs> because we support the students, the kids, uh, different schools, projects. Uh, so the idea is to try to be balanced. It's fascinating. And what? What challenges do you think uh, you're going to face kind of moving forward, this kind of future of farming? Because it's, it's quite a buzzword, isn't it, the future of farming? When we live in a city like Dubai, uh, we, I don't see any limits or any... Uh, we just need to use the basic technologies, actually. We, we were showing those last five years. We were able, with the basic technology we are using, we were able to increase by three times the productivity. So it's, uh, the target is to do more and more. We are not putting more pressure on us. We just follow our passion. We just want to enjoy this time at the same time with the community and do better next year. 
Now, Mohammed, I love that you said there is no limits to a city like Dubai, right? And one big thing that's happening in the UAE is the food security agenda that the government have got. How do you see that evolving? Uh, we have a, a good support from uh, Dubai, uh, Dubai government. The idea, I think, um, we should be able to scale what we are doing at, in a bigger level. Of course, I'm not like a scientist. I don't have the budget of a laboratory to prove what we are doing. Um, um, I just um, have this vision of um, doing it in a more professional way, scale it up, and why not doing my farm in all the different Emirates to let more people enjoy what we are doing. Now, Mohammed, in the UAE, in Dubai, we like things tall. We like big <laughs> buildings. Uh, so I actually want to know what your opinion is on vertical farming, and can we see a future of that in the UAE? Yeah, actually, we can still do vertical farming in organic farms. We are using the height, we grow tomatoes on the high, we organize our greenhouses to be vertical, but still growing in soil. I strongly believe that the soil is producing different enzymes, bacteria. This biodiversity is feeding the plant in a way that we can't do it, unfortunately, in hydroponic. Uh, on, on, so we need to work with the ecosystem to get it best and I do believe now even the reports are showing that the tomato that our ancestors were eating are 40 times less now uh, uh, getting less nutrient than now. Um, uh, sorry. Uh, no, no, yeah, no, we're with you. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and, and so we need to understand wha where, where came this issue. Uh, this issue is coming because we are using too much fertilizers and more. we are growing quantity. We need to focus on quality. It's incredible. Like yeah. Well, Mohammed, we can't wait to get your take on everything else we've got coming up on the show. But up next, we meet the Michelin star trained chef overseeing school lunches in Dubai and later an exciting performance. Now let's meet the artists. Hi, we're the Box Tones. We're going to perform our song Against the Odds from our album Home. Catch us at the end of the show to hear it. <laughs> 